Yes, hello champions, Elias Mohoz here. Delighted to join you this week share with you. Tips you can use to grow your business. I'm the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Market Success. I hope you have read about yourself a copy and read this book. It's a must read for everyone, especially those of us who are doing our business from Africa. It has practical examples that you can be able to use to grow your business and to prospect people, to call people, build a name list, to share your story. Wow, it's such a very rich book. Please also, if you are new to this channel, you are definitely most welcome. Please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the tips we share to grow your business. Today, I have a very interesting topic, and that is how to win NSL, how to win NSL. And um, I'm going to really give just five uh, uh, points on how to win NSL. And um, uh, when I mean by NSL, number one, it can also be a negotiation. Uh, it can be you presenting to someone the products, present someone the business, present someone the idea, present someone to uh, make sure maybe they they, 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 they add on top up on their investment already uh, so that they can be able to have a bigger investment to the business. So basically, how to win in what in a sale. Number one, in any sales negotiation, number one, the person that speaks fast what? Loses. Anyone that speaks fast does what? Loses. So make sure that uh, when you are meeting your client, you are meeting a customer, you don't just open your mouth and talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, of course, you don't go and meet them and be the fan dam. Uh -uh, that's what I'm saying. But basically, ask them one or two leading questions and listen to them. Uh, spend more time, uh, most of the time, asking questions, listen to them, listen to them. The more they talk, the more they, they, they are telling you how to close them. How to get so basically, make sure that you listen first. And after listening, that's when you'll be able to what? To, 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 to close someone. Point number two, the person that speaks more audibly wins. The person that speaks more audibly wins. I want you to think about any, any, any testimony ever given, any speech ever given, any church someone ever given, anyone that is speaking loudly shows their confidence shows they're in control show they they drive you to just their enthusiasm alone even if they are like they will basically make sure their, their enthusiasm is going to sweep you on the ground go to any political area they are literally shouting so basically any cell should be uh, uh, you must make sure that you are speaking as loudly as possible whispering does not sell Speaking with modesty does not sell. That one works with uh, maybe if you are you, you are a customer care of a corporate company and you are in charge of handling their phone calls. That's when you speak slowly. But anyone who is a serious networker, who is a salesperson, who is a business person, who is a leader, must speak as loud as they can. Point number three and very important: the person asking the questions wins. The person asking the questions that's what wins. That's why we say network marketing: a question is answered by any question answer. They ask what a question answer and ask what a question remember that uh, especially if you are selling the business uh, uh you are the interviewer so basically have the mentality of the interviewer don't be the one you are you are you you the, the first person question you answer you they, they ask you another question you answer i said answer and ask a question so basically you must have same questions or more questions than the prospect that you are trying to win into the business point number four and very important the person that sells them sells more wins the person that sells themselves more wins talk about yourself sell your story yeah i said don't speak so much but the little that you speak speak about yourself so the person feels oh my goodness i'm privileged to be part of this this people with this guy give him examples or give them examples of the people you have helped people that you have used the press people have that have uh, 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 that have uh, joined your business show how moral you are show how authentic you are show how what you have done and basically sell yourself i see many people who are very modest they don't want to talk about themselves when you don't talk about yourself my friend you lose a sale but when you talk about yourself the person buys you more and they buy your product. remember they buy you before they buy the product but how are they going to buy you if if they don't know you so basically tell, let them know you and they'll buy your product after buying you then point number five and uh, uh which is very important the person that pays more attention wins the person that pays more attention wins so basically uh even if i've said sell yourself every time your prospect has a question concentrate and ask yourself for that what is this person talking about because the moment you can understand their way of thinking their view their pain point their need then you can easily answer it with your business or with your products otherwise my dear friends 
thanks for listening i really hope you're going to sell more i really look forward to meeting many of you in person and i'm glad the people who meet me especially in kampala or in Rwanda, east africa and they really really want to interact with me i'm really really very delighted about that otherwise uh, please get yourself a copy of this book subscribe and be part of the growing family may god bless you see you at the top and power